You've already seen the house that Frank built, but Frank Phillips also built himself a country place called Woolrock, where he wined and dined his guests from all walks of life, from wildcatters that were working as oil rigs to presidents and foreign dignitaries. The lodge sits on a 3,700-acre wildlife preserve in the rugged Osage Hills and includes both exotic and native wildlife. There's also a museum housing Western and Native American artifacts and the largest collection of Colt firearms in the world. Woolarock isn't just a place, it's a total Oklahoma experience. Woods, lakes, rock, Woolarock. Phillips and oil were a huge part of Bartlesville's heritage, so if you'd like to get an idea of how integrated the company and the community were, take a look inside the Phillips Company Museum. There's just a lot of different things that you wouldn't actually think that, a, that an oil company or an energy company would actually have been involved in, but they actually have been. For example, have you ever heard of the 66ers, the company's own semi-pro basketball team? Who knew? The museum has plenty of interactive exhibits, some techie, some not, for both young and old to enjoy. Then there's a place in Bartlesville that kids have been enjoying since 1947, the Kitty Park. It's a summer tradition, 16 vintage amusement park rides for just 25 cents each. And remember, the last train ride of the evening is always free. Browsing is free at Keepsake Candles, located just two miles west of Bartlesville on Highway 60. They've been making original design candles since 1969. You can tour their factory and then visit the gift shop to take home candles that are so pretty, you may not want to light them. Bartlesville is also home to the Oklahoma Mozart International Festival. Each June, the event attracts visitors from around the globe, along with some of the world's best and brightest musicians. While this town in the heartland may seem an unlikely venue for such a far-reaching event, the people of Bartlesville ask, why not? 